Okay, this is a VMA214 Black Sheep training video. Today we're looking at short takeoff or stow. Uh, we're at Anderson Air Force Base here, uh, runway 06 right. Um, obviously, plenty long enough for a Harrier. Uh, we configured uh, reasonably heavy. We've got a couple of GBUs on board, um, targeting pod. Sidewinder and a sidearm, and we've got full internal fuel, so it's not going to be a challenge getting airborne. Uh, we're still going to calculate a few things to do the short takeoff. Uh, the first thing we really need to do is make sure we've got the um, data we need to do it. So, if we look at the VREST in the mission computer, um, if you haven't used it from the main menu. We go VREST and then we're going to use STOW. So it gives us a lot of data there. Uh, the NRAS, which is a nozzle rotation airspeed uh, for both wet and dry. Uh, the nozzle setting, so the STOW stop setting. And we have round roll, 50% uh, you know, um, distance remaining. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff that start out. Um, we have data for the field, so we've got outside air temperature 23, um, the current altimeter setting 30.1 or 0.01, uh, field elevation. These are all pre-populated, um, and it will lock that outside air temperature in 23, which it is outside for data for working at a landing or a vertical takeoff. Um, but we need to get some better data than that. So there's a plenty long runway here so what we can do is when we press the stow button again on the ODU over here we'll get some information that'll come up. So stow and on the ODU they've got gross weight which we can adjust. Now we don't want to adjust that it's auto populated in the game so there's no point in populating that. And the main one we want to look at is field data here FDAT so when we press the FDAT button, we get runway distance, runway heading, and um, ground wind. So let's do the runway distance first. And up here in the UFC, we have 7,500 set there. So this runway is longer than that. It's about 9,000 feet or longer. So we'll put 9,000 in there. Um, runway heading. Uh, 063 and the ground wind at the moment it's um, the winds super light here so it is coming out of the north and it's about two knots so we're gonna go and 002 enter okay so we've populated um, the field conditions here and we have the runway dry there which it is um, now if we go back out from the ODU runway dry field that back on out we can change the outside air temperature 23 at the moment it's 23 but we're going to put 25 in there it's a bit of a margin just in case it goes up right so that's pretty much all we need if we come back to the VREST computer we can see we've changed that to 25 um, we've got some new figures here because of the longer runway um, so we're easily going to be able to do a dry takeoff with 98 knot nozzle rotation airspeed and a stow stop at 55. Now if I press the abort button down the bottom here it gives us uh, abort speed um, which is obviously way faster than our air airborne speed because of the length of the runway and the stop distance required. Um, so now we've got that data we can enter it so if we press the V-style mode button again in the ODU we get NRAS and PC. So we wanted that NRAS and we knew for a dry takeoff it's 98 so we're going to enter that in and the pitch current we check that make sure it's 14 which it is 
and the pitch carrots are these up here and that's what we're going to use for our transition to wingborn flight so the only thing we've got to do is put the stow stop in for dry 55 if we move our stow stop to 55 and our flaps to stow and we're done so we are ready for takeoff so we'll release the park brake caution caution and when we roll out we'll have a talk about the uh, procedure of the actual takeoff so once we line up out here we're going to just do some checks to make sure the flaps run um, duck pressure changes Okay, at the runway. Now I'm also going to select the anti skid while we're out here on. And we can tell it's anti skid on because we've got cast at the bottom of the HUD there. Draw swipe out, everything looks good. Now before we go, we just want to spool it up a bit. Make it up to 60% on the brakes. We're going to rotate the stow, the nozzles to 30 and watch the duck pressure. There it goes. So we've got a duck pressure increase back to zero. And now we're going to rotate it all the way to the stow stop. Make sure the flaps run, which they do. Back to 10. Idle. And we're right to go. So the technique is going to be, um, we're going to press the nose wheel steering button, hold nose wheel steering on for the initial takeoff roll, and we are going to go full thrust on the brakes. If it starts to skid, we're going to release the brakes, and we're going to track down the runway. Now what we're looking for, up where the airspeed is, where it says one at the moment, or two knots, we're going to watch for a box to appear around that and flash. And once that flashes, that's our nozzle rotation airspeed. And we're going to rotate the nozzle all the way through to the stow stop, which will take them to 55. Fifty-five. And we'll get airborne. Once we're airborne, we're going to raise um, the witch's hat here, or the pressed attitude symbol, and we're going to raise that up into the pitch carrots for our trans transition to wingborne fight flight we're going to select the gear up and we're going to start rotating the nozzles forward to keep a positive climb going and just holding that which is had in there and accelerate away once we have the nozzles all the way up to zero we're going to reduce the thrust back um, back to climb and away we go so it's pretty basic and away we go thrust coming on holding the brakes on, nose wheel steering button depressed, starting to skid, brakes are off. Watching for that airspeed box, there it is, nozzles rotating to the stow, and I'm rotating the witch's hat up to the pitch carrots, the gear's seconds. up, now that's okay, it's Altitude. doing that, Altitude. and we're also seconds. rotating the nozzles forward. Seconds. Keep climbing. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. And there we go. Going through 190 knots. The flaps are in auto again now. And the thrust is coming back. And we're climbing away. So that's the um, stow takeoff.